I'm back out in the lakes again today and I've come down to a place called Hodge Close. It's kind of near Coniston and it's an old slate mine and there's a big pool of water down here and the autumn colours have started to come out now and I did want to get some pictures up at the top. There's like um, all the old slate slag but I think they've just started mining that again so there's loads of um, like trucks and stuff there. So what I've done instead is I've come down into the bottom of this basin and trying something a little bit different to your usual and I'm going to do some more abstract stuff and just pick out some small details. I've already got the pictures. I'm not too sure if I like this kind of style. So I did this without thinking about it and then we'll go over it now. The thing that I like about this spot is these colours here. And I'm liking this fallen tree. So I've done a portrait shot in that area there. Mainly getting this silver birch, which stands out against the, the darks and all the autumn colours. And when you use a polarizer, all of these colours come out and they stand out a lot. So I think that's a good use of my time. Um, but the more I think about it, I kind of feel like I should be getting some more wide shots in here. But for those pictures, I used the 5D Mark III with the 135mm and just focused on that area there. I think I'm going to have a bit more of a wander around in here, see if I can find any other compositions. But I think I am going to stick with this, um, like the 135mm, and just get some details. And then we'll see what happens after that. Probably going to go for a walk down some other cabins that way or maybe up onto the hills that way. I don't really care where I end up today. We're just out and we'll see where we end up. I think I'm going to spend a few more minutes in this area because it feels like the sun is trying to break out from behind them clouds and it's adding a bit more colour onto the leaves. So we'll give this another try. See, now I've started talking to the camera, my head does not like this idea. I'm not sure why um, I come to a place like this to take a picture of a fallen down tree. It's kind of where my head is at. But maybe it'll look quite good on the computer screen later. There's quite a lot of shapes in the rocks though. Um, the tree is going down at a diagonal and then where all the rocks been chipped away there's lots of like angled shapes so most of them are going in the opposite direction to which the tree is going so maybe maybe there's something there it's kind of in the realm of the pretentious bullshit photography though isn't it i'm more of a simple here's a view yeah I'm switching you off for a bit. It's been a while since we last had the video on, but I kept on walking and I've stopped in a few places. Not really stopped for any pictures yet, other than um, after I got them last pictures, on the way out, there's like a an alcove, which I like the idea of, but um, there was trees and it was really grey behind it. It wasn't that autumn-y. So I've come up to this different one. And we're getting sort of a really dark outline, like a silhouetted outline with all the slate workings. There's water dripping down. Then we get this really green area here in the middle. Now, I haven't quite decided what I prefer yet. I've got it set up in a portrait and I'm just trying to get like an even border on each side. And then these rocks are in focus and like, it's kind of deceptive on this video camera. It looks really bright, but if we drop it down, it's more like this on the on the camera. So we're getting a few bits of reflections on here. Then we're getting uh, all this area here. And we're not getting too much of the area that's in the dark here. So I'm going to put this down, have a play around with this. And then we might go down there. I haven't quite decided yet. Not looking that tempting, but 
I quite like doing that kind of thing. That might not be a good idea actually. Um, I've almost slipped three or four times just moving that camera over there. So I might save that one for another day. I think this is a spot that I need to be at. There's a slight bit of light spot at the top, which I'm not sure if I can avoid. I can avoid it if I stand here. <laughs> I didn't take much effort to find that out, did it? I'm trying to avoid everything that I didn't like about that first one, which was it was, it was just bright. I want it to be just the greens with no distracting light spots. First one we're going to go for is the portrait one. The only downside to moving this way is we're getting a little bit of one of these rocks. I think it's that one there. So I'm going to have to go a bit tighter, which might actually work out better, to be honest. Often just needs like a few little tweaks, but I think it's worth it to not get them bright spots in the sky. Just had a quick look through them pictures, and I don't think I actually need to bracket. I think I prefer the one where it is actually dark on the edge, which isn't that realistic, because I can see all the details. You can probably see all the details behind me. Um, I think it works better as a picture. Had a bit of an experiment with the landscape photos as well, and I think I might actually prefer it. Um, I've just taken the camera off the tripod, because it's kind of um, dodgily perched on the edge. But with the landscape shot, what we're able to do is we're able to get this side as well as this. So with the portrait, it was just that strip in the middle, but when you brought the camera back here, had like a nice um, different leading edge on this side. So we've got the, the, the sharp rocks here, which are all gray. And well, there's a few colors in there. One thing that I'm not too keen on is there's a bit of graffiti. Um, I think it says Bob loves Ello. So that's crap. So I might have to edit that out if I can. Or I might leave it in, because it is, I haven't decided. But yeah, we got like a totally different shot just by flipping the camera over. So let me know which one you prefer down in the comments. I think when I get to the computer, I'm gonna prefer the portrait, but I quite like the idea of the landscape. So I'm gonna go up there. One other thing. If anyone can recommend a tripod, this one's falling to bits. This leg keeps falling off. Just climbed up to the top of this and it looks like it drops down again on that side. So I'm not gonna go anywhere near that. And I think I prefer the V from down there. It looked better looking up into this green stuff. It's kind of just like a, a mix of everything down there now. So. I think I'm going to end this one here. Fingers crossed some of these will be available as prints over at adamcaffer.co.uk. Um, let me know which one you prefer. If you like them abstract ones from the start, let me know as well. Um, I kind of do that kind of thing off camera sometimes, but it never makes it onto the shop. So maybe I'm just seeing it wrong. Um, be good to get a second opinion on it though. But if you want to see more things like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see what's down there, I'll link the video. I went in there a few months ago. Um, it was quite fun, but you need to know what you're doing. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking. See you in the next one.